Every day in Europe, 10 people die waiting for an organ transplant. But Ahmed won't be one of them. He's crossed the green line from Turkish-controlled Cyprus with his friend Nebil for a life-saving operation. They've come to the renowned charitable Paris Givaidion Surgical Institute in Nicosia. Nabil will donate a kidney to Ahmed, and today's the day of the transplant. My friend has come with me here to give me his kidney so that I can feel better. Then we can all go home. The doctor is very good. Everything is organized so well. And I'm sure that everything will be just fine. It's time for the operation, and Nabil goes into theater to be operated on by Dr. George Kiriakidis and his team. Every country in Europe has a shortage of organs for transplant. The European Commission has sought to address the issue by publishing ideas about how to improve the situation. Now the European Parliament is considering the Commission's plans. But where does Dr Kyriakidis think the EU should be concentrating its efforts? I think it's vital, you know, that people uh, should understand that after death they don't need their organs. Instead they can help probably 10 or 11 people with all their organs after death if they donate them. So educating uh, and increasing the public awareness, I think it's vital, number one. Number two, it's the organization in hospitals. The Commission's report looks not just at donation after death. Boosting the number of donations from living donors, as in this situation, is also seen as critical to tackling the shortage of organs. The author of the European Parliament's response to the Commission's ideas is a Cypriot MEP, Adamos Adamu, who is himself a doctor. But given the fact that the European Union has very limited responsibility for laws on health care, why is Brussels getting involved at all? Member states, uh, they have to draw up their own policy on this. And uh, what I suggest and what I advise member states is to, is po if possible, copy best practices uh, that they happen in some countries like Spain, Austria, Belgium, uh, that they have very high rates of, of uh, organ donors. So maybe it's a good idea to see what these countries did, what are they doing? MEPs from all sides of the political divide believe that the EU has a significant role to play in addressing this issue. Members of the various political groups in the parliament visited Spain recently to understand why that country is seen as an example of best practice. The main challenge of the EU, uh, specific in the uh, issue of organ donation, uh, could be that we uh, try to uh, uh, bring the, the member states together and uh, let them uh, cooperate in a better way together. In some member states, especially in Spain, we visited Spain, uh, some hospitals there, uh, they have a, a very good uh, organization uh, uh, in the hospitals uh, on three levels, uh, on the national level, in the regional, on the regional level and in the hospitals. And it can be a very good example for other member states. The Commission's report refers to the importance of coordinating organ exchange across Europe, but some MEPs have concerns about involving the EU too much. There is a real danger of bureaucracy. There are some, some systems already working in Europe. There is Eurotransplant, uh, there is a system in the Scandinavian countries where you have an international exchange of organs, and that works very well. So I do not see the need for an additional uh, European bureaucracy that will control things and uh, set standards and so on. These things are already being done and they're being done very well. Perhaps the best way to increase organ availability in Europe is to help convince people to become donors after they die. Cyprus has one of the highest rates of living donation in the EU but one of the lowest rates of deceased donors. When Melpa Ioannou's son Louise died in an accident last December, she didn't think twice about it. I said to myself, why if you have a precious stone and diamond or uh, 
bracelet or whatever. Do you want it to be buried in the ground? No. So these organs should be given to other people to give life. This is a present of life. One of the kidneys of Melpa's son was transplanted into Konstantinos, who has suffered from chronic kidney disease for much of his adult life. It's the end of Melpa's mourning period for her son, and Konstantinos has come to meet her for the first time to say thank you. Yes, while donor anonymity is the norm in some EU states, in the small island community of Cyprus, it's impossible to keep these things secret. Uh, I feel very nice, really, because I, I knew, but uh, now I am sure that uh, I received uh, a kidney from a loving family. I don't have words to thank them. Uh, I will have them always in my heart. Few politicians would dispute the importance of promoting organ donation after death, but reflecting moral and ethical concerns is one of the ways that MEPs think they can contribute to the debate most effectively. The one area I really do not agree with is to put school programs in place. Certainly I'm very aware in Ireland we have high rates of suicide and you know it's hard to tell what someone is thinking about when they're when they're in that low moment in their life. And I would hate to add a layer which said, well, maybe I can, say, maybe I can do some good by being dead. The Adamu report also supports calls for enhanced cooperation to combat the selling of organs within the EU and so-called organ tourism. We'll never ever have organs enough. But you know, of course people get desperate. And if they have a possibility to travel to India or another poor country and pay some poor people there to deliver their kidneys, you know, this is happening and it's happening daily. And I think it's very important that uh, the EU as union uh, does its utmost to, to, to stop this here. The EU could have an important role to play. The consensus seems to be that Brussels can help in particular through public information and facilitating an exchange of expertise. But equally there's a realisation that many aspects of this issue are best left to member states and to doctors.